Okay. Okay, madam. Thank you. Yes, sir. Please start. Okay. Yes. Yes, uh, Jui. Uh, please start. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hi, Jay Kulkarni will be your host for today's event. A very warm welcome to our today's guest of honor, Mr. Tibri Van Sir, our principal Dr. S. S. R. Abdi Sir, President IIC Moscow, Dr. M. Sheikh Ma'am, Vice Principal Moscow. Sir, Mr. Tibri Van Sir, our principal Dr. S. S. R. Abdi Sir, and Vice President IIC Moscow, Dr. Dari Ma'am, Convener Dr. S. Mitra Sir, Innovation Coordinator. Dr. Pansari Mam, Staff Coordinator, Mr. Anand Dabai Sir and Mr. Yashwant Inge Sir. I extend my heartiest welcome to you all on behalf of MESCO IIC for the webinar on Techniques for Writing Innovative Research Paper. Government of India's Ministry of Education has established Innovation Cell MIC to systematically foster the culture of innovation amongst all higher education institutions. The primary intention of MIC is to encourage and inspire young students by supporting them to work with new ideas and transform them into prototypes. MIC has envisioned encouraging creation of Institutions Innovation Council across selected higher education institutions. The IIC initiative is well in line with Atma Nirbhar Bharat and Vocal for Local. As mentioned earlier, our today's topic of webinar is Techniques for Writing innovation research paper, Innovative Research Paper. To enlighten all of us on this, I now request Dr. Manish Tebdeval, Sir, Professor in Department of Electronics and Telecommunication at Shri Sant Gajanan Maharas College of Engineering, Shegao, with over 29 years of teaching and uh, research experience at Shri Sant Gajanan Maharas College of Engineering, Shegao. He has completed his bachelor's and master's degree in industrial electronics engineering and post which has also completed his PhD from IIT Kharagpur. He has a wide area of expertise and some of his area of interest are biomedical research processing, image processing, analog and digital signal processing and its applications, microprocessors, microcontrollers and embedded systems. MATLAB, ALP, C++, and many more. He has also served as technical supervisor in Roha Dai Chem Private Limited in Mumbai. He has also guided many projects at undergraduate and postgraduate level. With around 30 years of experience, he has published over 37 papers in SCI indexing journal, IEEE, and Springer conferences. He also holds various administrative positions such as Dean Examination, Chairman of Scholarship Committee, convener of conferences, workshops, and many more. With this brief introduction, I now request Dr. Tibdeval sir to take over the session. Uh, but before which, there are some instructions for all the participants to keep uh, their mics muted. Please, uh, please raise your hand before asking the questions. And at the end, we will be sharing a feedback uh, link. Please fill it and do share your feedback. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Ji. Am I audible? Yes, am I audible? sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Ji, am I audible clearly? Yes, sir. Uh, you are audible clearly, sir. Uh, okay, my slide is clearly visible to you and all of you. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the title in on the slide? Please read. Uh, Skills for reading an innovative research paper. Okay. So, thank you very much. Shall I start now? Yes, sir. Please. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Uh, good morning, one and all. I welcome you all this innovative topic of discussion today. That is techniques or skills for reading and writing the innovative research paper. At the outset, I am humbly thankful to the honorable management of MESCO Pune, Honorable Principal Dr. S. S. Sarvade, sir, respected head of department, computer engineering, Dr. N. F. Sheikh, madam, and the president of I I IIC. I am also thankful to Dr. Dale, madam, vice president of IIC, Dr. Mitra, sir, convener of this webinar, Dr. Pansare, madam, coordinator of IIC cell in your college, senior faculty member, my special thank to 
Mr. Ingrid sir and Mr. Dawle sir, who has taken the pain in arranging and initiating and organizing this particular webinar. I am thankful to all the faculty members, management, and the staff members of my home college for giving me the chance and opportunity to discuss with the like-minded community of engineering and sciences.